up viewers, this is Blood on Sweden back with part 2 of my new and updated SRCDS tutorial series covering Meta Mod and Source Mod. If you haven't viewed part 1 yet, I would strongly recommend going back and doing that. Otherwise, this part will be a huge waste of time for you. So, yeah, do that. Alright, we have now successfully downloaded and installed the server. Now we have to take the necessary steps of preparation work uh, before we get the server online. There are always some steps you want to do when creating a new server before getting the server live. So go ahead and open up your SRCDS folder wherever you installed it. Go into orange box C strike and CFG. I'm just gonna open up my little sheet note. Uh, Alright, the first thing we need to do is to create the server CFG file. This is a config file containing all the options or configurations and the rules that the server will run with, uh, such as starting money and freeze time. You got the bandwidth and rate settings. Um, orange box settings uh, and so on friendly fire etc etc and that is the very first step you want to do every time you create a new server uh, you have I have created a CFG for you which you can just copy and paste if you want to uh, so yeah to create the file itself just right click inside the folder go down to new uh, text document or uh, notepad or whatever text editor you are using and open it up. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my CFG and paste it in. Alright, so let's go through this quite fast here. Uh, host name, kind of self explanatory. The name of your server. So type in whatever you want your server to be called inside the quotations. Orcom password, this is used to remotely gain access to the server so set this to a strong secure password uh, because it can be used to hack your server and do not share this password either. <coughs> I'm just gonna type something random there. Uh, SV password meaning server password so if you want people to have to um, type in a password each time they connect. Uh, type it in inside the quotations. If you want a public server just leave it blank. Bandwidth and rate settings they are all set so you don't have to pay any attention to that. Logging is on which is always great if your server crashes or anything like that you will have a log file explaining the issue and what may cause the issue itself. So, The um, round specific uh, configurations is where you most likely would spend most of your time. Here you have the round time, 8 minutes, C4 timer, 45 seconds, you get buy time, starting money. I have set it up so that uh, let's see right here win limit is 10 rounds so when a team wins 10 rounds the map will change and if no one can win 10 rounds it will end after 20 minutes so you know you just have to set this up to your own preferences source TV is disabled uh, and right down here at the bottom you have the orange box uh, options which are quite badly written by Valve so you have to pay some attention here you can see SV underscore no MVP equals true zero in this case is false and one is true so you can see it says no MVP true but I want MVP on my server, so I'm gonna type in zero ha here. Here, I better put it Svenska. No MVP, false. I want MVP, so I'm gonna have a zero there. No Nemesis, I want that too, so I'm gonna place a zero here. 
no stats I want stats so zero disable freeze cam equals true I do not want freeze cam so I'm gonna set this uh, to one I'm gonna leave it alone all right so that's how this server CFG works so go through it and set it up to your own preferences once you are done just hit archive save as and you can see that we have to place it in the CFG uh, folder of course so make sure you're inside it orange box C strike CFG and name it server.cfg and there you go if we take a look inside inside our CFG folder you can see that we now have a server CFG file always make sure that it becomes a CFG file and that it's not just a text document called server.cfg it has to be a CFG file alright the last thing we need to do in preparation work is to go back to the orange box folder SRCDS orange box right click on the SRCDS icon right here hit send to desktop create shortcut I'm going to rename this a little fast there we go um, now we want to add a startup line that is also some options the server will run with so it's quite important go down to properties and right here in the target text box are we going to add our startup line you can find my startup line in the video description below alright so let's take a look at the changes here first off it's the console you always want to run your server in console mode always game C strike meaning counter strike source max players self explanatory uh, the number of player slots available on this server so if you wanted 10 just type in 10 plus FPS underscore max the uh, max value of FPS allowed uh, the clients 200 is a good value port 27015 this is the default port and unless you are using it for something else or having two servers at the same time just leave it to 27015 plus map de does 2 this is the map that the server will start on each time uh, the server is being started or rebooted it will start on this map specified here so I'm gonna change that to the nuke since that's my favorite and uh, yeah hit OK we are now done with preparations if you load up your server it shouldn't give you any errors or anything it should work just fine so come back for part 3 and we will get familiar with source mod and mailer mod installing it setting ourselves up as admins and taking a look at the plugins so yeah come back for part 3 and we will get this server going see you next time